guys, so I finally watched Bill and Ted face the music and I am so excited to give you my review. Now this is the third movie in the Bill and Ted trilogy, which is a trilogy I did not know I needed. I didn't ever expect there to be a third one and when they announced it I was like, oh, okay, this could be fun. But it's so much fun. It's really good. It's totally true to the fran franchise. Fans are going to love it. There's a lot of fan service, but I feel like this is also going to introduce a lot of people to the Bill and Ted trilogy. Uh, and hopefully they go back and watch it. But I'm I'm excited to give you my review. So let's get into it. Hey, Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. All right, guys. So in Bill and Ted face the music, uh, this is the third one. We've jumped 30 years into the future. And the guys have still yet to create a song that is going to unite the world, which is what they've been planning on doing the whole time, basically. So they have their own daughters who are named after each other, of course. And they also, um, you know, uh, are basically their dads. Now, one of the girls is actually played by the girl uh, from Ready or Not, which is one of my favorite movies. So if you haven't seen Ready or Not, seriously, you guys have to check it out. But it's really fun to see her in this totally different role as just a kind of an idiot, right? I mean, Bill and Ted, let's be honest here, they're, they're stupid. So <laughs> their goal right now is that they're trying to get the song that's going to unite the world. But what better way to do that than to jump into the future and steal it from themselves who have already written it, right? They cannot figure this out. So they see several different versions of themselves, which is a lot of fun all the way through. Ton of fun, really enjoyed that part of it. But the daughters are trying to help their dads as well. So they wanna help them write this song. So they are also jumping through time, trying to create the perfect band. And they're picking up people like Mozart and Lil Cuddy somehow ends up in this. It's so much fun, you guys. It is exactly what you expect from a Bill and Ted movie, right? Is it fantastic? No. Is it going to win a bunch of awards? No. But is it hilarious? Yes. Does it have heart? Yes, it's full of heart. It teaches actually some really good lessons. Uh, and it's just, it's a lot of fun. And of course, there's some most excellent music involved as well. Uh, but it's just, it's a lot of fun. When you get to the end, you're like, what? Like they say at the beginning, um, you know, that you don't, well, I forget the exact quote, but it's basically saying like everything will make sense in the end, more or less, right? And then when you get to the end, you're like, what? Like my husband totally guessed it because he guesses the end to everything. I didn't guess it, um, but I thought it was a lot of fun and I, and I like how there's a lot of the same characters coming back, the same actors coming back to redo these roles that they played 30 years ago. And let me tell you, Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter absolutely crush it as Bill and Ted. I mean, it feels like they've never left these roles. They're absolutely perfect. Um, I mean, they are Bill and Ted, right? But you're like, wow, they can still play these characters. It, it literally feels like Bill and Ted on the screen. They're so good at what they do and super talented. But I love seeing the babes back. Um, I mean, there's so many people come back. George Carlin makes a little cameo. Um, of course, it's not him, but they have a hologram of him, which is a lot of fun. Really, really like that. I like the new characters that they brought in as well. Um, it's just, it's such a good movie. And it actually teaches a really great lesson. I mean, if only music could unite the world right now, you guys. We need it more than anything. Our world is going through a whole lot right now. And if we could all just sing a song together and be happy, man, wouldn't that be great? I kind of wish, I kind of wish it were that simple, but um, it isn't. So instead, just get Bill and Ted 3. Bill and Ted Face the Music and watch it and you'll get, you're sure to enjoy it. I think you can rent it for $20. We bought it for 25 because we knew we'd watch it again and again. We actually introduced our daughters to it. They're seven and nine. They hadn't seen it yet, uh, any Bill and Ted. So we sat down and watched it. They love this movie so much they can't wait to see the first two. So that's been a lot of fun in our house. We're gonna be we're gonna be rewatching those, um, which it feels like it's been a while, but I think they hold up. I'm sure they're gonna hold up. But yeah, so Bill and Ted face the music. I think it's out in some theaters uh, or drive-ins. So if you feel safe or have them open around you and you want to go, you can do that. But you can also rent it from home. 20 bucks to rent, 25 to own. You might as well pay five more dollars and own it. Trust me, you're going to want to watch this again and again. If you guys have seen Bill and Ted face the music, let me know what you think down below so we can talk about it. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on more amazing videos like this one. You can also follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I am at Mama's Geeky over there. M-A-M-A-S-G-E-E-K-Y. And thanks for taking the time to watch this, guys. Be excellent to each other.